review our new turntable mat and at the end of the video we do have assembly instructions. Standard size mat systems aren't large enough for a turntable concept since you're hitting the ball off center. That is why our rubber platform is very large at 13 feet 1 inch by 4 feet. Standard mat height is generally 3 quarter inch rubber. The rubber on this mat system is 2 inches high to accommodate the height of the turntable. The rubber also features a lock key system and a notch out to allow for a charging cable to get to the turntable. There are two choices of turf to choose from to place on the platform. The standard is a 3 8 inch turf and the premium is an inch and an eighth T-line turf. The benefits of T-line are you can stick a T directly into the T-line turf, you can hit down and through the T-line. In other words, the club won't just bounce off the mat system as we've all experienced at driving range stalls. And T-line is far more dense and wears much better than the 3 8 inch turf. Regardless of your choice of turf, we use a floating floor concept for this mat system like commercial grade simulators use. Since the rubber platform is in five separate pieces, we cannot use a glue down or we'd have several joints in the mat taken away from its beauty. Instead, we use a tape down concept that you can view at the end of the video when we show the assembly. The added benefit of taping is when the turf wears, you only have to replace the turf and not the entire mat system. Just like any other product, this mat system has pros and cons. The first pro is the mat greatly simplifies play for left and right handers for launch monitors. Next, the turntable turns exactly in 180 degrees so you're always perfectly lined up. There's also a notch out to accommodate charge and play. And finally, the platform, turf, and turntable are all made from high quality materials. Next to the cons, the first and most obvious con is play is off center. Even though this doesn't affect the simulation at all, it does affect the playing experience a bit. However, some simulation software does accommodate off center play by allowing you to change where the ball flight takes place relative to the center of the screen. Next, this mat increases width footprint. This increase in footprint varies per launch monitor. The best thing to do to determine if you have the required width is to place your launch monitor in the center of your room and swing driver from both sides. As you may notice, flatter swings require more width. Next, you must secure the unit to prevent it from moving while using the turntable. The best thing to do is to place Velcro on the turntable and Velcro to the bottom of your launch monitor. This will prevent it from moving. However, there is a slight issue if you place the Velcro directly onto the turf. When you pull the unit up, the Velcro will come off the turf. So what we recommend is to remove the turf with a carpet knife where the unit touches the turntable. Then you can place the Velcro directly to the metal top of the turntable and when you pull up on your launch monitor, the Velcro will remain in place. For GC2 users, please let us know when you purchase this product and we will actually do this notch out for you. Also, for SkyTrack users, please let us know if you're going to use the metal protective case and we will go ahead and pre-drill the holes into the turf for you. Now we'll go ahead and have a look at the assembly. The first thing you do is, is place the center section of the mat system down, ensuring that the cable notch out is in the back. And then this is a good time to actually go ahead and run any cabling that you want to run to your turntable. Next, we're going to get the side pieces and go ahead and, and put them to both sides of the center section. Next, we're going to place the remaining two pieces of rubber on the outside of the mat system. Next we're going to start placing the double-sided tape onto the rubber. The first thing is just don't pull the back side of the tape off yet. We're not ready for that. And then we're going to ensure that when we cross over a joint we're going to pull that tight so there are no gaps in the joints. And then when you get to a corner don't overlap the tape. Continue taping as you see here and once you're finished go back over the tape and go ahead and push it down to secure it to the rubber because once we peel the back side of the tape off we want to make sure the tape doesn't come off the rubber. Also note we still want to leave the backing on the tape. We will remove the backing at a later time.
Now before we put the turntable into the hole, we're going to adjust the turntable height. If you have a 3 8 inch turf, we're going to set the height on the turf of the turntable to 2 and 3 8 inches. Once we have the turntable set close to the desired height, we're going to use a level to level the turntable when it turns so we do not get inconsistent reads. If you do not have access to a level, most smartphones have a bubble level app that will be more than sufficient. If you're using T-line turf instead of 3 8 inch turf, we're going to set the height of the turf on the turntable to 3 and 1 8 inch and then we will go ahead and level from there. If you're using a SkyTrack metal protective case, we're going to take the two provided screws and insert them into the bottom of the turntable. Then we will take SkyTrack's metal protective case, place it over the top, and then with the Allen wrench provided, we're going to tighten both of the screws down. When we're tightening, please ensure that we don't over tighten. Now we're ready to insert the turntable into the hole. And first we're going to go ahead and move any cabling that you may have and place it into the notch out. And then we're going to slide the protruding metal pieces into the slits of the turntable. And then we're going to get our level out once again and go ahead and make sure that the turntable is level. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and get the turf out and line up the edges. We'll go ahead and roll it over the turntable. And then on the other side, we're going to go ahead and line up the edges there as well. Once we feel confident that all the edges are lined up, we're going to go ahead and pull the turf back halfway. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off the double-sided tape. Once the backing's been removed from the double-sided tape, we're going to go ahead and grab the turf and ensuring that it remains lined up, we're going to go ahead and lay the turf down. Once we have the turf pushed down into the tape, we're going to pull the turf back on the other side and repeat the process. Once you have the turf pressed down, your installation is complete. Enjoy your new turntable mat system.